Okay, so welcome to the first video on number theory. We're going to have a look at different types of numbers first of all. And the first set of numbers we're going to have a look at are the natural numbers. So the natural numbers, the symbol for the natural numbers is an N, with a kind of a bit of a line going down through it. And the natural numbers are the numbers 1, 2, 3, all the way up to infinity. So they're the positive um, counting numbers. The integers then are given the symbol Z, with a kind of a line going down here, down by the side. And the integers are, well, zero is an integer. And then we have, they're similar to, similar to the natural numbers, except we have negative numbers as well. So we have zero plus r minus one, plus r minus two, plus r minus three, all the way up to plus or minus infinity. So they're whole numbers as well. We got the rational numbers, or fractions. And fractions, they're given the symbol q. And there's a fractions, um, this might surprise you a little bit, they're not, well, you'll see, I'll show you what fractions are now. So fractions look a little bit like this, well, they look exactly like this. So we've got x over y, and then I've got to say what x and y are. So a fraction always is something over something. x and y both have to be integers, so I write that like that, x, y, and this symbol here, element of, or it just means x and y are both integers, x, y, element of z. But then the y part, the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, y cannot be equal to zero. So this is the symbol for not equal to zero. So say if I write down a number, something like, I don't know, say three over zero, that might look like a fraction, but it's actually not, because if you go by the definition of a fraction, okay, we have x over y, three over zero, x over y, both x and y are integers, three is an integer, zero is an integer, but if you look, one of the conditions of a fraction or of something being a fraction is that the y part cannot be zero but here we've got the y part is zero but if i take a number like zero over three well this is a fraction because okay again we've got x over y the x part and the y part are both integers zero is an integer three is an integer and the y part the bottom part of the fraction well it's not zero so that's fine so this one three over zero is not a fraction whereas zero over three is a fraction so that's the definition of fractions, and pretty much every, most numbers that you can think of probably are fractions. Even a number like 3, 3 is a fraction, because 3 can be written as 3 over 1, and that satisfies those conditions up here. Um, 0 is even a fraction, because 0 can be written as 0 over anything. So I could put 0 over, say, 10, and that's still 0, and that satisfies these conditions up here. So 0 is a fraction. Okay, and that leads us on to the other type of numbers, the irrational numbers. And irrational numbers, well, they're the set of numbers that cannot be written as a fraction. So numbers that cannot be written as a fraction. Mm, as a fraction. So you know a few examples of them, probably a number like pi. Pi is an irrational number. We can not We can never write pi as a fraction. Sometimes you see pi is written as 22 over 7. It's actually, t pi is not 22 over 7. That's an approximation for pi. So pi is not equal to 22 over 7. So pi is an irrational number. You can never, ever write it as a fraction. The square root of 2 is another irrational number, and we'll be having a good uh, look at that later on in another video. The square root of 3 is an irrational number. The square root of 7 is an irrational number. We've got this number that you'll come across on the course, the Leaving Cert course, a, a good bit. It's given the symbol E, and that's the, that's the number 2.718. It goes on forever. It's an irrational number. And that's the thing about irrational numbers. They don't have a last decimal place. So pi, the number that you we've, we've all heard of, pi is equal to 3.141. That's what your calculator will say. But this is actually only an approximation. It actually goes on forever. So pi is an irrational number. Numbers that go on forever, numbers that have no last decimal place, they're irrational numbers. Okay, there's one other set of numbers we want to have a look at, and they're called, actually, well, I'll go on to a new sheet. They're called the real numbers. So the real numbers, given the symbol or, now they're just all of the numbers that I've just mentioned before. So the real numbers are all of the natural numbers, the integers, the rational numbers are fractions, and the irrational numbers, so the irrational. So they're, they're the real numbers. 
One thing that I didn't talk about was the symbol for irrational numbers. So if you go, we go back to this, we've got the natural numbers have the symbol n, the integers have symbol z, rationals have a symbol q, but I didn't give you any symbol for irrational numbers. But if you think about what an irrational number is, it's a number that cannot be written as a fraction. So here's the symbol for the irrational numbers. We just write an irrational number is or, and then we have this slash, which means less q. So this is the symbol for irrational numbers. I'll explain it now in a second. The irrationals. So it just means or, or is all of these numbers here. So the irrational numbers are or less any number that can be written as a fraction. So any number, any number except those that can be written as a fraction. That's what this symbol means here, except e x c e p t. So the real numbers except for fractions they're all irrational numbers.